<clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. Lacey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Stop this game. Yep. Do you want me to guess what it is? <laughs> Do you want to? Do you want to carry on with that? Well, you seem excited about it. Yeah, well, it's a pretty big thing. But you're not homo. No. <laughs> and you're not going to shave your beard off? No. Not thinking of cutting your hair? No. Nope. You're moving to Norway? No. You're really a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not guessing, no? No, no. Okay, I've worked out that... <laughs> I'm sure I want to tell you where you've got a cup in your hand. I've worked out that I am the one. The one? Like Jesus? In a way. I thought AJ Miller was Jesus. He was. What do you mean was? He's not now you know that you've worked out that you are. <laughs> No, Isn't that a bit like how he, he found out he was he Jesus was, in the he, was Jesus, he was Jesus, and he came back to bring the truth, but he didn't come back to do what is prophesied to be done. So when you say the one, like God, the one, or no, not God, but like God has chosen. Hasn't God chosen all of us? Well. What I worked out was that as I was going through healing these soul injuries, I was doing all the stuff that I've done myself, but these generational injuries that we get with as soon as we're conceived, just, they've just been little fragments of them for me and I've got straight through them and I've been feeling God. And, and I've just come to the conclusion that no one else has done that. But we're all the one. We're no one else. Well, okay, so I'm not, you know, I can't say I fully know other people's minds, but it's looking like I had something done to me at a baby to clear me of these issues that we would have got from Adam and Eve, like wanting to be gods ourselves. I haven't had an issue with that at all. I've gone straight through and felt God not without really an issue. And when I go back to younger memories, and this is what triggered it as well, when I go back to sort of the age of about two, I am in a really, really loving state, you know, really close to God. So even when I get near to those memories, I start feeling, feeling that. And that's why, and you know, to be honest, it's always been in my life. We're all chosen, right? We're all chosen by God. Yeah, and I don't, and I'm not, you know, all I can say for the moment, I don't, I don't want to say Messiah, I don't want to say Antichrist, I don't want to say... Do you not think that you just found God? Like, you found your faith properly? Yeah, but like I found 100%. that. I found that a good nine months ago. And it's, you know, it's come up. It's come up before, like, as in a, a feeling and that I've sort of... I've been denying it, basically. Yes. I've been denying it most of the time. Because we've all got it. Well, that's what Paul said. So if you've got something special, then what's it for? Well, yeah, and that's for me to find out day by day, doing what I do. Do you think that's helped, doing what you do? Like, at, at the moment, I wouldn't say I'm like 100% committed, mm. but I am at the point where I'm reminding myself of it continually to, to get used to it, to see if it is really the truth. But how do you do that without, because you don't go to church, Who? this is just God that you found within you, so how do you get your, 
your rules and stuff? Are you looking at the Bible and you're deciding that that's what that means? No, like feeling. Like the first time I felt God, the first thing I felt was the first lesson is choose to love. That That is the first lesson. When you can see the eternalness of your soul, when you can see that you have got eternity and you know it, suddenly it's a bit scary, it's a bit big, but there's this first rule which is to choose to love. And if you just love... But you have, haven't got eternity as in the body you're in now. We, no. You don't mean that you're going to like live forever. No, 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 no. We, all, we all have an eternal soul. Yeah. It was a comment about the one, so I'm trying to work out what... The right, one. okay, so... In, in prophecy, and I, and, I, and I do believe in people's feelings as well, mm. they, they feel like there is going to be a second coming. You know, because Jesus said as well, you know, that there are speeches of him in the Bible saying, I'm going to come back. And according to A.J. Miller, he never said that. He never felt he was going to. <clears throat> but he said, you know, and, and near the end times, and you know, it's all about this end times as well. So if you like, if there's one person in this world who knows God, and what God's intentions are now, that could be me. So what do you reckon God's main intention is at the moment? With everything that's going on in the world, I mean, it's quite a big statement. To because also what I what I would be able to do, I would be able to help people undo soul damage. Because I have been doing it, that's what I've been working at doing. But doesn't everybody work in a slightly different way? So something that work for you might not work for somebody else. When it comes in terms of, you know, God is the parent, so all you have to do is sort of like Leave the horse to water and it will drink. Oh, we can't make it. It's like, I guess it's, it's God's way of quickening the process a bit. And what's interesting is, I've just come to this conclusion that all of us and the universe and everything is in Mother God. Do you remember me saying that? Yeah. And that Father God is sort of standing by. Mm. But this is, in a sense, Father God's um, little <laughs> bit. You know, this is where he gets to have some influence, in a sense. So what difference do you think this has made to your life, then? Because that's... It hasn't really like made any difference at all, except if, if it is the case, then I've been denying myself. Yeah. And so knowing what I am, who I am, is better for me and maybe I can love myself a bit more. And you think you've got to this point just by feeling, really, because that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, and I've been, I have been very aware of potential of other spirits wanting to make me feel something, you know. But so I have been quite diligent. Because if that's the case, I'm surrounded by loads of them. There's one making me smoke, there's another making me eat biscuits. I've got the fatty spirits and I'm telling me to eat, I've got the smoking one, drinking one, the one that's forcing the wine down my neck. <laughs> it's balance, I suppose, between them all. And, and what I'm starting, you know, and also by thinking like this, it means that, God, shit, everything's been loads easier for me than everybody else. Because I've had this help. Mm. So it just makes me... Because I have always been, you know, I think of so many times when I should have been able to have a good shag with someone and <laughs> something's happened so there's just never, is there a beard hair in your cup? Mm -hmm. no, You're on top of it? Yeah. <clears throat> You're still filming, that wasn't a reaction, but you're the one. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, I mean, part of me thought you'd want to phone the um, 999. <laughs> oh, because you think you're the chosen one? <laughs> well, not really, because you're not saying that you've been chosen for anything specific. You're just saying you've been chosen. I guess, I guess, yeah. 
I guess I suppose doing, all I'm saying either. is that all I'm saying is I am the one. But I know I know partly what what one. what that might entail. And it it could yeah. You're trying to OD me on floor right? Why you're telling me you're the one? <laughs> yeah, tell me no. No, I suppose when I've been trying to clarify what I'm trying to feel, the one, I suppose it would be the one prophesized that would come. We're all supposed to think like the one. So you know, you know God, well I don't know if you know this or not, but in the Gita, there's a copy of the Gita over there, that little brown book. I don't need to camp in the camera. The little brown book on the table. Oh right, the okay. Right, in there that you've got Krishna. Yeah. And Krishna was... Isn't that like Hindu or something? Yeah, and Krishna was God. <laughs> Hindu. No and he says, you know, yeah, I come down every thousand years so or so. So you think you're God? No, but I've, I'm God's vessel, if you want. We're all God's vessel, though. That's yes. not I don't know how I spread the word. Yes. I'm not denying your Godness. No, no. But if there, if there is... See, I think the reason he chooses one is to demonstrate the potential of everyone. Is that what you were doing in, with your dance in at Bodfest? <laughs> Demonstrating that you're the one. I was celebrating, yeah. yeah your was. weird, uh, I've got to quote your weird voodoo body popping. Voodoo <laughs> 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 um, body popping. I suppose you're getting all spiritual, apparently, you with it. All that. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm still me. But I can. I can call on God. But isn't that faith? That's faith still. And we all call on God when the shit hits the fan. Somehow. No, okay. I suppose what we are going to... We're going to have to... Because obviously events have to prove the theory. So we're going to have to wait and see how things turn out. You can't burp on camera. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Are you really recording? I don't think you're in it. I think you're oh, really... it's good. I've lent back. <laughs> I think you've <lived> back. <laughs> so, do you think I'm mad? Tell the camera. No, I don't think you're God, though. No, I didn't say I was I God. I don't think he's God. I didn't say I was God. I yeah, don't but you want can't, to be God. Yeah, but you can't give me a purpose of why we're here other than you can be a bridge. So that makes you like a preacher. Well, like a, a church-going God person. They all think that they're closer to God than yeah, but... average folk. No, they think that, and then they quote the Bible, and I don't quote the Bible. But that's where you get your ideas from, isn't it? All biblical stuff. Well, I suppose it does, like the green, green and brown and blue-eyed thing. Well, that, that's that was sparked by reading that bit of the Bible with Cain. But that's quite deep, that theory. Yeah, and that's that's my own theory, but I still believe it's true. Because I think God has done things to quicken, and it says that in the Bible, doesn't it? To to shorten the days. God has shortened the days further. God has already shortened the days. So, like, done things to... Well, because a day used to be like a thousand years, because I mean... No, it doesn't mean like that. It means shorten the time until the end, until the big judgment. Until we've, we're over this infancy stage, and we can, and we can start... Because if you like, the human race has gone through a rebellious stage. Yeah. That's that's what's happened. So you Adam and Eve wanted to be gods. So Cain killed his brother. Lamech took two wives. They've wanted to do the things that against the laws of the universe. Yeah. And it's gone down, down, down. We've already started coming up a long time ago. But it's a bit like anything, if somebody tells you you're not allowed to do something or you can't do that, you're automatically going to want to do it. It makes you want to, and in a sense, we it was inevitable, we were going to have to do it. We, we were going to have to do that anyway, to know for sure that it's the wrong way. But the good news is, is that we're all babies in our eternal life, and things are on the up. Things are going to be good from now on. You create, your soul is so powerful, it creates the universe around you. 
And if you could start to unpick some of the wrongs that your soul thinks, your universe would improve. <laughs> I get that. And the major ones are about God. What are the lottery numbers? Shit, I didn't have any lottery numbers on. Oh, that's too late now, it's worth half a Hopeless cause. <laughs> so this is what I mean, this is what I'm feeling, I'm the only one who's... Well if you could have like built the bridge and let me win the lottery, I'm sure that I'd live a really good life. And I'd be closer to God, and I'd probably feel like the chosen one. You wouldn't win millions of Libyans come running through your land. No, because I wouldn't be grieving, I wouldn't Jump in your swimming pool. Buy the whole of Libya or anything. <laughs> Yeah, but they're coming into Europe, aren't they? Yeah, but I wouldn't agree with them to what they like, just give up my little bit of land. No, that's good. You have that faith, sister. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you probably shouldn't tell too many people that you think you're the one, though. <laughs> Well, I'm debating that at the moment. Yeah, I don't think you should. But then, if I was, that's why I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have a real few weeks with it. See what See if I out. break out in um, see what measles. See if your car breaks down. Or see if the warts go away. Wonderful. They're gone already. Yeah. Cool for you. It goes weird. It's gone. Don't for this one. <laughs> well, no, this won't go on for a while. Not till I get back off holiday. I don't remember anything going on about my fingers. They're making. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. See, I've had these. Um, yeah, for over a year. Oh really? Yeah. No, mine can't. And I barely noticed them, so I probably had them for a couple of years. Mine come up, look, and then they go like they're a bit there still. Look. Yeah, you see, at the moment you'd be hard pressed to see mine. Yeah, they mine do. But feel after like a that. bath or wash, doing the washing up, they stand out more. Right, that's enough.